Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. A semi-automatic anchor chain making machine is a crucial piece of equipment in the maritime and offshore industries. This specialized machine is designed to manufacture anchor chains efficiently and precisely. Anchor chains are essential components for ships and offshore structures, providing stability and security in various maritime operations. The semi-automatic anchor chain making machine operates by producing a series of metal rings or links that interlock to create a flexible and robust chain. It forms each link segment with precision and consistency. Operators play a vital role in monitoring and controlling the machine's functions, ensuring the production of high-quality anchor chains of various lengths to meet specific requirements. A chain bending machine is a specialized piece of equipment used in metalworking and manufacturing processes to create chains from steel rods. It operates through a systematic process that involves cutting, bending, and binding individual metal bars to form a continuous chain. The machine starts by cutting steel rods into precise lengths, determined by the desired size of the chain links. This cutting process ensures uniformity in the chain's dimensions. Once the steel rods are cut, the machine then proceeds to bend these individual segments into the desired shape. This bending can be adjusted to create various types of chain links, such as standard or custom designs. Binding. After bending, the machine securely binds the ends of each metal bar together. This binding process can involve welding, soldering, or other joining methods, depending on the specific design and requirements of the chain. By efficiently executing these steps in a controlled and automated manner, chain bending machines streamline the production of chains, ensuring precision, consistency, and high-quality end products. The Dotching Chain Links Flash Butt Welding Machine is a versatile tool designed for both flash butt welding and deburing operations in chain manufacturing. Flash butt welding utilizes high voltage and current to effectively fuse two metal pieces, but this process often results in deformations and sharp edges, which can pose safety hazards and disrupt subsequent manufacturing steps. To remedy this, the deburing machine comes into play smoothing out these rough edges to ensure the final product safety and top-tier quality. It couples the flash butt welding process with immediate deburing, allowing manufacturers to harmonize parameter settings in real time. Consequently, defects are minimized and the overall quality of the finished product is significantly improved. Roxma, a leading name in Europe, boasts one of the most advanced production lines for anchor chains. Setting itself apart from competitors, Roxma is the sole manufacturer that has mastered the art of processing duplex stainless steel with a diameter of 16 mm in an automated manner. This automation ensures not only efficiency but also a consistently high quality in the final product. Duplex stainless steel is renowned for its superior strength and corrosion resistance, making it an ideal choice for marine applications. The production process begins with the selection of high-quality raw materials. The steel undergoes rigorous testing to ensure its purity and quality. Once approved, the steel is shaped into chains using state-of-the-art machinery. The automated process ensures precision in every link, guaranteeing uniformity and strength. Every production run undergoes intensive inspections, including tensile strength and microscopic cross-sectional tests. Unique to Roxma is its in-house salt spray chamber, where chains are subjected to prolonged corrosion resistance tests under extreme conditions, 
lasting several months. The production process of rail steel shovels involves several intricate steps, resulting in high-quality tools designed for durability and versatility. Raw Material Selection The foundation of rail steel shovels is railway rails that meet the R65 standards. These rails are chosen for their high carbon content, which imparts superior strength to the shovels while keeping their weight to a minimum. Double hardening treatment. One of the most distinctive features of these shovels is the unique double hardening treatment. This process minimizes the loss of volatile carbon during heating, preserving the carbon content in the steel. As a result, the metal gains enhanced strength properties and increased elasticity. This treatment ensures that the shovels can withstand heavy duty usage without losing their integrity. Ergonomic design. The shovel design is carefully engineered to provide maximum comfort and functionality. The ledge for the user's feet is designed to align with the anatomy of the foot, while also serving as an additional stiffening rib when the shovel is turned into a digging position. This thoughtful design enhances user comfort and makes the shovels more efficient. Corrosion protection. To safeguard the shovels from corrosion and ensure a long lifespan, they are coated with a high-strength varnish. This protective layer shields the metal from environmental factors and extends the shovel's usability. Durable tool. The tool, where the shovel blade meets the handle, is designed to provide a secure connection. Thanks to an unwelded seam, the metal always tightly grips the handle. This ensures that changes in humidity, which can cause wood to swell or shrink, won't compromise the shovel's functionality. The springy properties of the steel prevent excessive stress on the junction between the crown and the blade, reducing the risk of breakage. Self-sharpening edges all rail steel shovels feature self-sharpening edges. The sharpened edge not only excels in its primary function but can also handle tougher materials like wood, ice, or less durable metals when needed. This versatility makes the shovels valuable tools in various situations. Quality Assurance each shovel is accompanied by documentation confirming its adherence to international norms and standards. This commitment to quality ensures that customers receive reliable and trustworthy products. Grandsfors Bruck, Sweden, prides itself on the meticulous process behind their renowned axes, a fusion of craftsmanship and environmental consciousness. At the heart of this process lies a special alloy of recycled steel, rich in carbon content, chosen with a commitment to sustainability. The journey begins with the blacksmith, who takes this high-carbon steel and subjects it to scorching heat, approximately 1,200 degrees Celsius, before deftly withdrawing it from the searing furnace. At this point, a formidable mechanical press enters the picture, delivering a staggering 180 tons of force with each of its 80 strikes per minute. Guided by the skilled hands of the blacksmith, the steel undergoes a remarkable transformation, gradually shifting from its original square form into the recognizable shape of an axe head. The repeated and forceful blows inflicted upon the steel fundamentally alter its structure, setting Grandsfors axes apart. This process allows for thinner edges, broader heads, and a level of sharpness that would be unattainable with just a handful of strikes. The blacksmith's role culminates with the precise stamping of the Grandsfors Bruck label and their personal initials onto the axe head. 
These markings serve both as a testament to quality and a reminder that skilled hands crafted each axe. After this, the axe head is left to hang, allowing it to cool naturally. In the forging process, the axe's eye, or the hole for the handle, undergoes slight compression, which can result in a minor fold in the material. Importantly, this fold is not a defect but a natural consequence of the forging process, found across several models of Grand Spore's axes. Environmental responsibility is at the core of Grand Spore's Brux ethos. Every material choice is made with great care, includes using steel sourced exclusively from recycled scrap metal, hickory handles known for their strength and longevity, reducing the consumption of natural resources, and vegetable tanned leather that is free from heavy metals and biodegradable. The manufacturing process of wires at Havels, India begins with sourcing the finest quality 8mm copper rods, which serve as the primary raw material. These copper rods are initially drawn to the required size, and during this process, they undergo online annealing. Annealing involves heating the copper and then slowly cooling it to enhance ductility and reduce hardness, making it more workable and flexible. Once the copper is drawn and annealed, it is passed through high-voltage spark testers to ensure that the insulating layer is free from any contamination, imperfections, or pinholes. These insulated wires are then coiled in an automatic oiler to ensure precise delivery lengths. Safety is paramount, so rigorous testing is conducted before the wires are packaged and dispatched. This ensures that the wires meet the highest quality standards and are safe for use in various electrical applications. This factory also manufactures low tension and high tension power and control cables. This includes HD power cables up to 66 kV, 1.1 kV power cables, 1.1 kV copper control cables and extra high voltage EHV cables up to 220 kV grade. The manufacturing process for cables involves similar precision and quality control. It commences with procuring the raw material, either copper or aluminum prongs. These materials are drawn to the specified size before undergoing annealing. For HD screened cables, stranding follows where conductors are manufactured according to design specifications. Subsequently, stranded conductors are screened with an extruded semiconducting compound. Both HD screened and LT screened cable conductors are insulated using either PVC or XLPE, depending on the required specification. For HD screened cables, another round of insulation screening with metallic parts is performed, ensuring comprehensive coverage over the insulated and cleaned cores. Our triple extrusion process guarantees a perfect bond between insulation and semiconducting layers, preventing air void formation that could lead to premature failure. The manufacturing process continues with conductor cleaning, insulation, and insulation screening in a single process, all while being monitored through a CCTV line extruder. PVC cables, however, do not require curing. For PHD screened cables, insulation screening with metallic parts is carried out by helically applying copper tape with complete coverage. The cables then undergo laying up, where they are arranged according to specified designs, followed by inner sheathing, armoring, and outer sheathing.
All cables are carefully wound onto wooden drums and subjected to thorough testing according to specifications to ensure that only faultless cables leave Havel's facility. In the heart of Bohumen lies a manufacturing giant, ZDB Dradovna, a subsidiary of Trinet Kitsch Zelazarin. With an annual production of nearly 130,000 tons of cold drawn wire and wire products, this company stands as a testament to the prowess of European manufacturing. The high carbon wire mill at ZDB Dradovna is specifically designed to produce wires with a higher carbon content. These wires are known for their strength and are primarily used in applications where durability and tensile strength are paramount. Examples include construction, where the wire must bear significant loads, and automotive industries, where the wire is used in parts that undergo substantial stress. On the other hand, the low carbon wire mill produces wires with a lower carbon content. These wires are more ductile, making them suitable for applications that require flexibility. They are often used in industries like electronics, where the wire needs to be bent into various shapes without breaking. Steel cord is a type of reinforced wire used primarily in the tire industry. Its high tensile strength makes it ideal for reinforcing tires, providing them with added durability and resistance to wear and tear. ZDB Dradovna steel cord is known for its quality, ensuring that tires reinforced with their product are among the best in the market. Steel wire ropes from ZDB Dradovna are multi-strand constructions made from high-strength steel wires. They are used in a variety of heavy-duty applications, from lifting heavy loads in construction sites to serving as the mainstay in cable car systems. The company's international orders, such as the towing ropes for the Chinese coal market and the special rope for the Lomnitsky Stit cable car, are a testament to the trust industry's place in their product quality. The year 2020 was challenging for many, and ZDB Dradovna was no exception. The outbreak of the coronavirus epidemic led to a shutdown of the European economy in the second quarter, resulting in a 12% year-on-year drop in sales for the company. Production and sales of drawn wires and wire products also saw a 6% decrease year-on-year. -year. However, despite these setbacks, the company's resilience shone through. Chairman of the Board of Directors of ZDB Wireworks, Petr Adamek, remarked on the situation, stating that while the consequences of the pandemic were deeper than anticipated, the company's results remained acceptable. This was attributed to their investment activity, distribution of business risk, and a diversified product composition. The company also capitalized on significant demand in industries like health technology, white technology, the furniture industry, and the automotive sector in the latter half of the year. A remarkable 76% of ZDB Dradovna's sales were exports, with the majority headed to Western and Central European countries. This means that three quarters of the wire from Bohumen crossed borders last year. The company's main product portfolio comprises drawn patented wire, drawn non-patented wire, annealed wire, steel ropes, springs, and metal fabrics. They also produce specialized ropes, including crane ropes, fishing ropes, general-purpose ropes, mining ropes, and ropes for cableways and ski lifts.
This part discusses the impact of drawing speed on high carbon steel wire surface texture. The article is based on the research of M. Suliga, Department of Production Engineering and Materials Technology, Czestochowa University of Technology, Poland. This research explores the relationship between drawing speed and the surface texture of high carbon steel wires. Using advanced machinery, the study found that the wire's surface texture exhibits random anisotropy, with its geometric structure's directionality being influenced by the drawing speed. The wire manufacturing industry is in a state of continuous evolution. Driven by technological advancements and economic imperatives, there's a pressing need for manufacturers to innovate. One area of focus is the high-speed drawing of high-carbon steel wires, which are integral in the production of ropes, springs, and steel cords. However, this process isn't without challenges. The primary concern is the heating of the wire surface, which can compromise lubrication, accelerate wear on dyes, and potentially degrade the wire's overall properties. Modern wire manufacturers face the dual challenge of maintaining product quality while also increasing productivity and reducing costs. This balance is crucial to remain competitive in a global market. A significant avenue for potential improvement is the drawing process of high-carbon steel wires. These wires are pivotal in various applications, including the manufacturing of ropes, springs, and steel cords. However, the high-speed drawing process can introduce complications. The primary issue is the heating of the wire's surface. This heating can lead to lubrication problems, increased wear and tear on the drawing dies, and a potential decline in the wire's quality, falling below industry standards. For this study, High carbon steel wire of grade C78D, with a carbon content of 0.79%, was chosen. Before the drawing process, the wire rod underwent several treatments patenting, itching, and phosphating. The drawing itself was executed over 12 passes, transforming a 5.5 mm wire rod into a final wire of 1.7 mm diameter. This was achieved using a state-of-the-art Coke KGT 25 twelfths multi-die drawing machine, equipped with conventional dies set at a 12 degrees angle. To facilitate the drawing process, sodium drawing powder was employed as the lubricant. To gain a comprehensive understanding of the wire's surface texture, a 3D analysis was conducted. This method offers a more detailed insight compared to traditional 2D surface roughness measurements. A 3D analysis can evaluate not just elevation and longitudinal surface features but also the shape parameters of inequality and anisotropy of the surface. For this study, a Taylor-Hobson 50 profilometer was utilized, with the resulting data processed using Tali Map Platinum software. The study's findings were illuminating. The wire's surface texture, during the drawing process, was found to exhibit a form of random anisotropy. In simpler terms, while there was a general directionality to the surface's geometric structure, it wasn't consistent. This directionality was influenced significantly by the drawing speed. As the drawing speed increased, so did the surface's anisotropy. At higher drawing speeds, the lubrication proved insufficient, leading to direct contact between the wire and the die. This direct contact is problematic. 
Given that the die's surface is both harder and smoother than the wire surface, the point of contact results in shearing and deformation of the wire surface. This leads to a smoother texture in a specific direction, with the new irregularities mirroring the die's surface. Furthermore, areas subjected to shearing and deformation processes exhibited greater heterogeneity in their surface texture. This was manifested by the presence of localized elevations and depressions. The implications of these findings are significant. The study revealed that as the drying speed increased, the roughness of the wire decreased. This inverse relationship between drying speed and wire roughness is directly tied to the amount of lubrication present on the wires. A faster drying speed, especially at 25 meters per second, led to a drastic deterioration in lubrication conditions. This, in turn, resulted in increased direct contact, causing the wire surface to grind and shear. However, it's not just the quantity of lubricant that's a factor. The lubricating properties of the drawing powder also play a role. The study suggests that the surface smoothing of wires drawn at high speeds isn't solely due to a decrease in lubricant quantity. The reduced lubricity of the drawing powder, especially in the die sizing part, also contributes. In this part, we will watch the process of pressing swagging when executed with the Tolerate 3000T high capacity machine. The Tolerate 3000T press machine is specifically designed to handle heavy duty tasks, ensuring precision and strength in every operation. One of the common applications of this machine is in the setting of thimbles on wire ropes. A thimble is a protective metal fitting that safeguards the wire rope's loop from wear and tear, especially when connected to a hook or shackle. When a 79mm wire rope made of WRC, steel core, needs a thimble, the Tolerate 3000T press machine is employed to press or crimp the thimble onto the rope. This ensures a secure fit, enhancing the rope's longevity and safety. The pressing or crimping process involves reshaping the wire rope and thimble to create a tight and seamless connection. The 3000T capacity of the Tolerate machine ensures that the pressing is done with immense force, guaranteeing a robust and durable bond. This combination of advanced machinery and meticulous technique ensures that wire ropes equipped with thimbles can withstand the challenges of heavy lifting and other industrial applications. Before embarking on the mooring process, it's imperative to select the right steel rope. These ropes are designed for heavy-duty operations, offering high tensile strength and durability. However, even the sturdiest steel ropes are not immune to wear and tear. Regular inspections are essential to detect signs of corrosion, fraying, or any structural damage. A compromised steel rope can be a ticking time bomb, especially when under significant tension. When working with steel ropes, it's crucial to use the right connectors and clamps. Traditional knots are not suitable for steel ropes. Instead, specialized clamps, shackles, and thimbles are used to create secure connections. When attaching a steel rope, ensure that the rope is looped through the thimble, which provides a protective layer against wear. 
The clamps are then used to secure the loop, ensuring an even distribution of weight and tension. Another critical aspect of mooring with steel ropes is monitoring tension. Given their weight and strength, any imbalance in tension can lead to severe consequences. If one rope becomes slack, it can exert undue pressure on the others, increasing the risk of breakage. It's also essential to ensure that the ropes are not rubbing against any sharp edges, which can lead to fraying. Safety is paramount when handling steel ropes. Due to their weight and rigidity, they can cause severe injuries if not handled correctly. It's advisable to wear heavy-duty gloves and safety gear, and always be aware of the rope's trajectory, especially when under tension. A snapping steel rope can cause significant damage and injury. The importance of correctly fastening steel ropes in mooring operations cannot be overstated. A minor oversight can lead to delays, with teams needing several hours to reset and prepare for another approach. The potential dangers of a snapping steel rope are immense, not just to the operation but also to the safety of the crew. Regular training and drills are vital to ensure that all crew members are well versed in the nuances of handling steel ropes. The 600T hydraulic press is a robust and efficient machine designed for crimping aluminum sleeves up to Zen 34 and, with multiple passes, even Zen 38. It can also handle Flemish eyelet sleeves up to 38, one and a half. One of its standout features is the swan neck design, ensuring excellent accessibility. The press is equipped with an automatic control system that shortens the cycle time by enabling automatic piston return. Additionally, a piston stroke limiter is integrated to further reduce cycle time by limiting the piston stroke. This demonstration video showcases the press's capability in sleeving a metal cable sling, emphasizing the fundamental crimping principle of an aluminum sleeve. The video also highlights the press's automatic function, which is especially beneficial for processing large volumes. This function allows the press to close and reopen once the set pressure is achieved, all without lifting the foot from the pedal. Similar controls are found in other models ranging from 415 kilonewtons plus to 40,000 kilonewtons.